Hi everyone, we're going to decide whether the congruence statement is true regarding triangles and explain our reasoning. We're basically looking at side, side, side congruence postulate. Congru that's an E. Postulate. All right, so let's look at uh, the first one. So we're going to go in order for these triangles. So when you when you look at the triangles, you're actually looking at the sides. So let's look at first AB. So AB should be congruent to line segment FE. So let's look at FE. There's FE. And these are congruent. So we can say that um, AB is congruent to EF or FE. Let's do it in order. Doesn't really matter. You could switch it, but let's go in order. Now we want to look at BC with ED. So BC is this one and ED is this one. So we have these uh, ticker uh, marks here. Since they're the same, that means that BC side is congruent to ED side. And finally, we have uh, we have to do AC. I'm going to put an X here. So we have AC and FD. And those two are congruent. Because these two are match up and then they both have the X. So that's going to be AC is congruent to uh, FD. So uh, this is true. And explaining our reasoning, that's our reasoning. By the side-side congruence postulate, all the sides are congruent. Now let's try number two. Number two, what I want to do is... Um, split these up a little bit. So I have, um, I'm going to take these triangles out and write it like this. So here's the top portion. So this is your M, L, and N. And we have a 5, 9, and then we have a 5 here. And we don't know what this part is, so I'm going to put an X. And then I'm going to draw the bottom uh, triangle and do that part. So something like that. And we have V, this is U, and this is W. So from U to W, it's 5. And from V to U, it's going to be a 3 plus some X. And this whole length here is 11. So now let's look at this. We have LM equals UV. So if you look at that, LM, LM equals 9. And it should be congruent to UV. Well, UV equals 3 plus X. So we don't know what our x is, so let's just let, let that stand for a minute. Um, that's only if x is 6. So let's look at um, the next one. And that would be uh, mn with uh, vw. So mn is right here. And vw, where is vw? Is here. So that would be LM, I'm going to put here LM, uh, or MN, equals 5 plus some X, and let's look at VW equals 11. Now if X is 6, um, this would be true. So if X is 6, that's true. So let's look at the final one. And the final one is LM. So LM is 9. 
or ln, sorry, ln. Let me erase this. Where's ln? Okay, ln is right here. It's 5. And we also comparing it to uw. So where's uw? And that is 5. So uw equals 5. So this is congruent because if x is 6, then these would also be congruent. So this is a yes by the side, side, side. So if this is 6, we're good. All right, so number 3. Um, it's kind of like number one, so let's just look at it quickly. We have PQ first. That's one, two, three. So that should be RT. RT also has one, two, three. So that checks. Now let's check um, QR should go with TS. So QR is right here. And TS is right here. That checks. And then the finally, we need to check P, PR, which is 2. And RS uh, would be also. So this is a yes. This is congruent by your side, side, side congruence postulate. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.